Hello everyone, I'm here to talk about the new single that Aurora just released called The Seed. Very exciting. This is the new single that is coming off of her third studio album, which was just announced, A Different Kind of Human. This is step two of what we only presume is going to be more than two steps, but at this point we're not sure if there's going to be another step. Step one was released back in September, An Infections of a Different Kind. I'll link my review of it in the description, had glowing things to say about it. And now we get step two, a lot sooner than I think many of us were anticipating. She had said that it would be like at least a year, possibly two, before we got the next album. And here it comes. It's coming out June 7th. So two months away. Very exciting. Um, this is the second song that she has released from this record. She has also released Animal, which was the first single from this record. And I'll link my review of that as well in the description. So we have The Seed. This is Aurora most directly addressing an issue that is very, very poignant, very topical, very important to many of us, particularly of the younger generation, and something that is naturally fitting into Aurora's thematic work, an idea and the concept and need for change in addressing the climate crisis. She explicitly references this in the lyrics when she sings in the chorus, you cannot eat money, oh no. When the rivers, when the last tree has fallen and the rivers are poisoned, you cannot eat money. And this song has a very diabolical undertone to it for the chorus. You know, this song is a bit more industrial in sound. It's much more angry and full of angst. Aurora has described this new album as being a lot more schizophrenic in terms of going from highs to lows. And it's a bit more broad in terms of its spectrum. So it's going to be talking about some more political things, some more social things. Like it's it's a lot more, you know, broad and focused than infections of a different kind, which she thought was a lot more kind of focused on, you know, her internally. Um, and she describes this anger as not necessarily being something that makes you want to go towards like anything violent or anything negative. It's more of an anger that makes you want to do something. People don't get up and do something usually unless they're not moved to a certain level of anger um, or frustration at the way things are. And this is coming off the heels of massive worldwide protests and strikes and walkouts that young people have been instigating about doing something about the climate crisis that we are facing and I would consider and I would say that the climate crisis is one of the biggest issues that, especially in the next 10 years, is going to be plaguing us as a species on this planet. And so I think that Aurora tackling this, and I hope this isn't the last time she gets this explicit about this, because it's so important that this is kind of message is just continually pushed out there. And especially since Aurora is an artist who is so about the natural world and so about appreciating the beauty of it, it's just a perfect fit. She describes herself like a seed, not knowing where to land. Um, through dirt and shadow, I grow. So I grow through the murkier soil. That's a common metaphor that, I mean, of course, I'm reaching light through the struggle, just like the seed. I'm chasing the wonder. I unravel myself all in slow motion. So if you consider the idea of, you know, us trying to plant more trees, obviously that's like a literal translation of the idea of us helping propagate uh, the forests, which are some of the best bastions of climate uh, control that we have on this planet. The forests are so, 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 so important to maintaining the lifestyle that we live and the proper balance of everything and in the atmosphere. And of course, deforestation is one of the leading causes of, you know, massive issues with the climate, along with the melting of the polar ice caps, sea level rise which of course contributes to all sorts of other fun things like hurricanes and, and flooding. Suffocate me so my tears can be rain. I will water the ground where I stand so the flowers can grow back again. Cause just like the seed, everything wants to live. We are burning our fingers, but we learn and forget. Bit more, a uh, bit more abstract in the second verse here where you can sense she's getting a little bit more kind of like interpersonal talking about some inner struggle. I love how her lyrics can be so literal and yet so broad and uh, the playful, kind of childlike, kind of innocent, very nature inspired. Um, this is a song that, you know, I think will have a tre tremendous impact. I mean, obviously I would love to see Aurora do really well on the charts. Unfortunately, I think the mainstream is just gonna continue sleeping on her. It's a real shame, you know, she's had artists like Katy Perry and Billie Eilish shout out to her and like give her some exposure, but she just isn't really getting the traction that I kind of hoped she would. But then again, she's very, you know, 
she's not really looking for that kind of validation. She's not looking for Billboard chart success. Um, but her songs definitely need to be played on the radio. Like, we need this message. We need her music. Sonically, this song has that Nordic fiery angst to it that I think we heard a lot more on All My Demons than we heard so much on her last record. Though we definitely heard it in parts. Um, I do think that, again, my one thing, if I had to pick something negative, is that I do feel as though the mixing, like there's something about the vocals that don't kind of rise out of the mixing of the song. And I think this is just going to be a recurring issue that Aurora's music is always going to have um, in that I just wish her vocals like jumped out a little bit more, particularly in the choruses. I think she always has these much more kind of ambient um sparser beautiful verses where she lets her haunting melodies just kind of flow like honey but then you know if she wants the pounding electronic instrumentals like it just needs to be a little better mixed and I, again i know that she's not completely responsible for that and there are lots of other things but like it's just a thing i notice and it's a pattern but uh this song has a real oomph to it and i was not expecting anything less my favorite part though would definitely be the bridge where um where she gets very meditative and she has said that this record in particular, she was collecting a lot of ambient field recordings. You can actually hear her softly speaking about dreams and visions that she's had about killer whales and and the forests dying and, and this need for, and people marching all over the world for climate change. Like these are things she's kind of interspersing into the song to create this wholesome soundscape. And it's a very visceral, very magical experience. So I'm really excited to see more of that on this record. All in all, I'm very excited by The Seed. I love Animal. I think Animal has a little bit more of that pop drive to it that could make it a bigger hit. But like I said, I don't think she's going for that with any of these, but like it's still, uh, should be looked over, should be given more credit uh, by the mainstream, but whatever. Um, so I'm really excited for a different kind of human. Um, I did this as 11 tracks instead of eight compared to the last, the last body of work. So this is much more like a full length album. And uh, some of the song titles have me very, very curious and very excited. So we've heard two songs so far, and we only have two months away before we hear the rest of the work. So this was this is a really kind of exciting thing that's happening a lot sooner than I was expecting. And um, Aurora is like the the energy I just keep feeding off of, like to keep like getting excited about art and music. And she seems to want to just be like doing an Ariana Grande, like pulling out music like as quickly as possible, like just like releasing things when she wants. I love that she's given that kind of freedom. Like she's not necessarily confined by that anymore. Um, even if it means the projects are a little shorter, it means we get them more frequently. You know, I'm definitely all for that. So let me know in the comments what you think of this new track and uh, how excited you are. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. Check out the links in the description for more Aurora content from my channel. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Peace, love, and light. Bye.